12 designer fragrances, one per month for an entire year. Sounds tricky, doesn't it? Trust me, I know. This is a video I've seen going around a little bit and well, the title is pretty self-explanatory. I can only choose to wear 12 fragrances for an entire year, choosing one for each month. I can't repeat fragrances and I can't choose any more than 12. No ties, no honorable mentions. And did I mention I can only choose designer fragrances? Yeah, this is gonna be tough. As someone who has a lot of fragrances and which a lot of them I really do enjoy, this one was a little bit tough to put together. But I wanted to give a crack at it, so today, that's what we're gonna be going over. If you like videos like this, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit that like button down below. I really do appreciate it. Let's go and jump right into this one. And instead of starting off with number 10 or the first fragrance, we're starting off with the month of January. And in January, my fragrance for that month will be this guy, Dior Homme Intense. We're basically right in the midst of winter here in January. It gets cold where I live, so I need a hefty winter fragrance. And for this month, I'm going with Dior Homme Intense. What I love so much about this scent is it is warm and powdery and a bit sweet. In my opinion, this is one of the best designer fragrances out there for winter. This is what my choice is for January. Moving on to February, we have Mercedes-Benz Club Black. This is a fantastic vanilla and benzoin fragrance. If you like vanilla and you like sweet fragrances, this one's gonna be your choice. You'll see this one gets compared to something like Guerlain Spiritus Double Vanille, which is a very expensive and high-end vanilla fragrance from the house of Guerlain, which they have a fantastic line of fragrances, all of which are very high quality in that lineup. And this one does smell a little bit similar. Of course, quality and composition is gonna be much different, but it does get you pretty close at a very affordable price, perfect for the cooler weather. And before we get on to March, I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, this t-shirt looks pretty nice, right? It doesn't look like your average everyday t-shirt and it doesn't feel like it either. The second you pull this thing out of the package and try it on, you can just feel how soft and supple the fabric is. You know, if you get a cheap t-shirt, it feels kind of rough, it feels kind of crinkly, but this stuff is so breathable and it feels great. This particular shirt I have on is a 60% cotton and 40% polyester blend. They also do offer 100% cotton t-shirts. However, the advantages of this one is that it typically will last a lot longer than 100% cotton shirts. This one also won't shrink up on you either, so you don't have to worry about having it fit nice and feel great when you first try it on, but then it going not so well after a few washes. This stuff maintains its shape and the super soft feeling that it has. And as you can see, this thing fits me great. I'm a pretty slim guy. I like t-shirts that just fit right, and you can't always get that with cheaper, low-quality t-shirts. Right now, you can mix and match additional t-shirts and tank tops. You can get three for $40 plus an additional 10% off with my code CHAOS10. And trust me, I know winter is coming up. They also do have some long sleeves and hoodies as well, all at competitive prices. I'm telling you guys what, the quality of these shirts are incredible for the price that you're paying for. Just like what I talk about with fragrances, some bang for buck fragrances out there, it's the same thing with these Into the AM basic t-shirts and hoodies and long sleeves. These things feel great, they look great, and trust me, you'll feel amazing as soon as you throw one of these on. Combine it with an amazing fragrance and you're gonna feel on top of the world. For the month of March, I ended up choosing Armani Code Absolute. Still, in March, usually here, it's gonna be chilly as well. We're not fully into spring yet. It can still get pretty brutal in March, which usually sucks because by that point, I'm tired of winter and I want spring and summer. But for that time, when I still just need to hang in there and put up with the cold weather a while longer, Armani Code Absolute is my go-to choice. It just smells so great. It puts me in such a good mood. It's a fantastic flanker to this line and one of my personal favorites. Moving on to April, we have Lacoste Loam Intense. So we're starting to crack into spring. Weather's starting to lighten up a little bit, and in this time, I wanna start reaching for things with a little bit of freshness. Now, the reason why I choose Lacoste Loam Intense is because it still has some depth to it. When you smell this one, you get a lot of that rhubarb, you get a nice orange, creamy orange opening, but with some other notes 
that give it some depth and some substance. So you're not going into a super fresh citrusy scent, but you're also still not wearing a heavy winter fragrance. It's a great scent to kind of bridge the gap and ease into spring. So usually by May, I'm starting to get summer fever. I'm ready for it. And there's something about the month of May that I just love because it gives you that feeling of like, oh, summer is here. The weather's really starting to look up and it, it just is great for that month. I go with Bulgari Aqua Atlantique. My summer gem of a fragrance, that's usually my favorite time to break this one out because I've been having it sit all winter. It's been collecting dust. It's one of my favorites. Don't wear it through winter. And as soon as we start getting that good weather, this one comes out and I enjoy it in full force. For June, I'll be choosing Aqua de Jo Profondo, the nice minerally citrus aquatic fragrance, their newest flanker and one of their best in my opinion. This stuff is really nice, a great new release and one you should definitely consider trying. It has made its way to discounters. I will provide a link down below to this one along with everything else so you can check these out at a discount price. This stuff is just amazing, amazing, amazing. And for June in the nice weather, it's a must have. So things are really starting to heat up here. We're getting into July. It gets humid. It gets really, really hot. The days are super, super long. You guys know all about it. Love July. For this one, I'm going with Versace Pour Homme. A simple one. A really simple one. A nice, vibrant citrus fragrance with a bit of a musky backbone. So clean, so fresh, so sparkling, and a bit creamy as well. Just the quintessential signature scent. I mean, this fragrance is actually called Versace Signature one of the most fitting names for a fragrance out there. Amazing, amazing stuff, but really for me, shines in the high heat. That's for July. Now we're getting into August. August is, is a hot one. That's typically usually gonna be the hottest month of the year, at least where it is here. The humidity is at an all-time high. It's just miserably hot out a lot of the time, and of course, you start getting all of the outdoor sounds, all the crickets and all that type of stuff. So for that month, I go with Dior Homme cologne at that point i will admit getting a little bit tired of the extremely hot heat i love summer but it gets to be a bit much and that's kind of when i'm like not really in the mood for a fragrance to be honest with you when it's that hot that humid not a whole lot works that well not a whole lot sounds all that appealing but for me dior homme cologne is always the fragrance that i go for when it's just miserably hot i mean this scent when you smell it, you'll know what I mean. It's just so vibrant, a bit musky, but mostly just all about the citrus. There's three notes, that's it. It's so simplistic, but it works so well. Moving into September, we have Tom Ford Ombre Leather. So it's around this time where I'm starting to play around with some false scents. We're not there yet, and it is still going to be warm, depending on the day, depending on just what the weather is doing evenings start to get down to a cooler temperature so that's usually when i would want to bust this one out but this one is kind of a, a bit of a transitional one for me and it is still pretty heavy very strong on the leather notes but it's got a bit of a freshness in here if you smelled ombre leather either the private blend version ombre leather 16 or the signature version here you'll know what i'm talking about when you smell it it's got a bit of a like a lightness to it. Um, I know in Ombre Leather 16, that is coming from the Violet or Violet Leaf. Uh, this one I don't believe is actually listed in there. Um, I believe this one has some sort of a floral component, kind of alluding to that fresh type of smell. I think it's a great transitional one, and it's one that I'll really want to reach for in September to kind of move into my fall rotation. For October, we're going with One Million Privé. This is a cinnamon bomb of a fragrance and a great flanker in the one million line it's by far the best it smells so great it doesn't smell like a one million flanker it smells like something different to be honest with you the quality is great it's very unique and it smells like a fall fragrance i mean that's probably what's going to come to mind when you smell this one it's just the season of fall the leaves changing when you look at the bottle you can tell just kind of how it is and that's how it smells as well a great, great scent that I can't wait to wear for the month of October. And to be honest with you, I probably wouldn't have a hard time wearing this one for a month straight. It's very addictive. It smells fantastic. For November, we have Hugo Boss Bottled Oud. Not an oud fragrance like you would expect. It's a light oud and it's a designer oud, so it's nothing crazy. But it does add a nice flavor and a nice variation to the Hugo Boss Bottled DNA. I love the intense EDP 
but I also really like this oud version. You still do get the in intense EDP smell, but with a little bit of an oud flavor in there, just a bit, nothing crazy. It's just a nice twist on that DNA. It smells great. Another perfect one for fall working into winter. And finally for December, we have Spice Bomb Extreme. Of course, I had to throw this one in here. And for December, I thought it was a pretty good spot. December or January was kind of where I was messing around with it. Uh, I, I, I like December for this one because it kind of reminds me of the holidays. Uh, just from the tobacco vanilla spiciness that it has, I felt that December was a great month to choose this one for. You're really starting to get into winter. It's starting to get cold, starting to maybe get some snow depending on where you are. And this is a great fragrance and it just really is suited for that type of weather. So guys, that's gonna do it for me. That was only 12 designer fragrances for a year, one per month. This is a tough one, a lot of things to choose from, and I gotta admit, it's hard to say that you're gonna to commit to one fragrance per month. That would be extremely hard to do, but hey, it was a fun video, and these are the ones that I would choose if I was to do that. Again, make sure you check out Into the AM. I will link them down below with the coupon code CHAOS10. Go to intotheam.com slash chaos10. Get 10% off plus the additional deal that they have running, three for $40 and 10% off on top of that. It's a great deal, guys. Trust me when I say these are nice. They're very soft, they fit great, and they are just great t-shirts to have. Check out their hoodies and long sleeves as well to get ready for the fall. So thanks again to Into the AM for sponsoring this video. I really do appreciate it. And guys, make sure you go give them some love. Link down below. I also will link all these fragrances down below as well. If you want to check any of them out, pick any of them up, you know what to do. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow night with another one. Take care.